What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Nicola Espresso, and welcome to today's video. Today, we're going to be talking about Advanced Warfare, however, not in a way that I've done before. Today, we won't be covering news or anything regarding the title, but rather, we're going to be talking about Advanced Titanfall Elysium. But in all seriousness, I'm not sure how long this video will be. If it's shorter, I do apologize, and if it's longer, again, I apologize. Today, I just want to address a few things regarding similarities in aesthetic looks as well as ideology, and if it comes off as a rant, I'm not meaning for it to be. I just want to give this game a fair shot and some people just complain to complain so here's my shot at trying to talk logically so I mentioned Elysium so let's start off with that for those that don't know it was a great film from 2013 in which the year is 2154 coincidentally 100 years exactly after the setting of Advanced Warfare and it is a legitimate coincidence Matt Damon plays a lowly parolee in LA but the thing is the people on earth are the 99% that are poor and Elysium is where the rich and healthy live without going in and making this video one summing up the entire movie, Matt Damon's character is nearing death but needs to get up to Elysium, so he goes to the old acquaintances he had when he jacked cars, and he agrees to do a job for them in returns for a ticket up to Elysium. From there, he's fitted with an exosuit, and that's where all this comes into play. The similarity is right there. The exo, though, does differ, though, in Elysium, as it's connected to Damon's nervous system, thereby making it a full extension of his body, whereas Advanced Warfare is more in theory of a jacket. Just slip into it for more comfort. It doesn't need to be drilled into your skull. So I guess what I'm trying to address here is the overwhelming need the community feels to say that this is a copy of Elysium. And to that, this is my reply. Elysium production started in July of 2011. Advanced Warfare also started in 2011. However, at that point, Modern Warfare 3 was in fact done with the campaign and its production there, which was where Sledgehammer had their hands in the cookie jar. They were free to start making their own game before November and the launch of Modern Warfare 3 as Activision approached them much earlier earlier than that, and if you know Hollywood, you'll know that the big movies are kept low profile until there is a decent amount that can be released. So could Conjury or Showfield really have ripped the idea? To me, it's doubtful. Even still, if it's not a topic to you that they've ripped the idea, I can still say that Exos are a very realistic future tech. You could probably find it on the first few pages of Google News. It's that relevant. So the premise of the suits isn't hard to find, but it's a very good one nonetheless. Now let's move along to another said copy, Titanfall, one that I I see way too often. To me personally, it doesn't even look like it's a copy in my mind. It's not even the same premise. The only grounds that I can see somebody saying it's a copy of is that it's a futuristic setting, something very minor. But let's talk about the development just to put some of these rumors to bed as well. We all know the story of West and Zampella's release from Infinity Ward and the ensuing lawsuits after the mass reduction of Infinity Ward and the buildup of the respawn team, Titanfall began pre-production. That was mid-2011, again the same time that Modern Warfare 3 finished up. As with other titles low-key again, so could there be any copying Again, doubtful. Are there Titans or AIs in Advanced Warfare? Not that we've seen so far. So, I guess what I'm trying to say is that the blind comments to complain are a little aggravating. I get Call of Duty will always have haters, and hell, I've even been a hater, especially with Ghost. You could just look at my Twitter feed and see all that. But I'm gonna give this game a chance. It's the first real change that we've seen to a franchise, and one I'm well awaiting. With the futuristic setting and the tech that's plausible, you can't really call something a copy if they're trying to be realistic. If that's the case, going for realism is being a copy, then by that mere idea, two modern shooters, yes, I'm looking at Call of Duty and Battlefield, would be copies of each other. That logic in itself is the same as what I'm speaking of, and it just sounds absurd, doesn't it? I'm willing to give this game a chance. Hopefully you guys are too. That's been my time, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. Do you guys think that some of these comments about Advanced Warfare being a copy before you've even seen anything really about the game are just absurd, or do you go with the grain and think that it is? I'm cool with whatever you think. It's all your opinion. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. If you did like the video, please leave a like down below. Any shares of your Facebook, Twitter, and or MySpace if you would like that, or it's greatly appreciated. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe for the best of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare content. Any news information, you guys know exactly where to find it right here up on my channel. My name is Vinny Cole Espresso. As always, if you guys are having a great day, I shall see you guys tomorrow. Take care and peace. Surprise, motherfucker.